Hey, this is Oliver from Keelan here. Uh, very briefly, I'm going to show you how to set up basically the Facebook integration with Shopify. This is probably the easiest way that you are going to enable the C API or what's usually called server side tracking um, with Facebook and um, and Shopify. So let's get to it. This is just a test account that I've set up here. So there is absolutely nothing in it. Um, but what you'll do is you will go to, if you don't have the Facebook channel, you'll need to get it first. So you go to apps, then you click view more apps. Uh, 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 and then we just say, yep, that's me. And then we just let it load. And there we actually have it, Facebook channel. Otherwise you would just search up here. But we take Facebook channel. Then we click add app. And I mean, you if you already know this, just skip a few steps ahead, but maybe somebody is not uh, completely with us there. So let's see. Once this has been added, uh, you very likely will get some questions that you have to accept and so on. So I already did this before, so therefore we have it. Uh, let's see here, Facebook, go to set and We just disconnect this because I want to show it to you from the beginning, basically. So uh, let's see, do we have anything else? Facebook. Yes, so this is how it will look like if it's the first time that you do it. And you'll notice you have different options. Of course, the, what Facebook wants you to do here is to actually set up a Facebook shop because that means you know more people will stay on Facebook and you'll use it more and their platform will increase in value, right? But what we can also use this for is to ensure that we have good tracking. So what you can do is you go to Facebook, then you click Start Setup, and you have the Facebook account. If it's not connected yet, let me just again show everything from scratch here. Then you'll see this, right? Then you click Connect Account, and you will have to be the admin of the Facebook page here. So if you are an agency owner watching this and you're trying to set it up for a client, you will need to speak with them and have either their login details uh, or make send them this video and make a video for them, whatever, because they'll need to lock in. It has to be the owner of the account. So then you click OK, continue. And, you know, basically accept all of this. Sell your soul to Facebook and Shopify simultaneously. Yep. There we go. And then you'll see I have two business managers here. And this is just for testing purposes. And this is the actual one that I use to run ads for clients and so on. So uh, we'll connect just the test one. Click connect. And then you'll have a domain. Given that this is a test store, it is not verified. Of course, your domain should be verified if that is not clear. So in this case, I'm just going to click skip. But otherwise, you would mark it and you will click confirm. And um, then we'll connect the page. I have a bunch of different pages here, but let's just connect this one watch thing, which is also one of my pages. Just again, just the test page so I can show you this. Uh, then we have data sharing. Now this we will need to toggle on as you saw. We'll need to click toggle on and then you'll have these three options. And we want to set it to maximum because this is where the power is. Basically, it's combining every form of tracking that we have. All of the data that we have is combined into one. Um, and now you are actually getting the server side tracking set up super simply. If you're not, this is also why, for instance, Shopify is really good in general, because if you were doing this on a custom build yourself, you would literally have to go get another server, pay for that to run, set up all the back end manual, like a bunch of issues. So just do this. <laughs> um, now, after we've done that, we need to go to the uh, behavior. It will be tracked with this pixel. So we have the demo pixel. These are just other pixels. Uh, demo pixel, click that, connect. And now that is connected. Now, the last thing is we still cannot click finish setup. And why is that? It is because Facebook wants us to create a commerce account, which it basically enables you to sell through Facebook, right? So we click create new. And don't worry if you don't want this, if you have tax issues in the country that you're selling from or whatever that makes you unable to do this or it's too big of a hassle, don't worry. It will not just be added to your account. This will just create a commerce account. Nothing will happen yet on the actual um Facebook page that you have. You will need to go in manually and set that up. But anyway, now you have it. Accept terms. 
and we of course we read it all and then we click accept and then we wait and then we see aha uh -huh, all of that and now you can see finish setup and tough da you just did oh wait i need to bleep that out um mm -mm -mm -mm. And yeah, and then you can do all of this. So if you then want to set up actually the commerce manager also, you just follow the steps from here. But what has happened now is you have actually set up the tracking. So uh, let's just see here. Facebook marketing is no longer working. Oh, oh yeah, we'll need to connect. The, yeah, that's connecting the ad account and everything. You shouldn't be doing that through here, in my opinion. Uh, you should be doing that um, more custom. But now you can see if we go on that, uh, data sharing settings you actually have everything and you can always edit this uh, yourself so if we went into the back end if we went into um, and actually looked at the events manager here it would show you that we would also get server events now because there is no traffic to this site it, it doesn't really exist only the shopify end exists you won't be able to see that um, but for your case just go into the events manager view the events just the timeline or go in and test the events and you should be able to see it picking up from the server as well and again set it to maximum don't use these other things set it to maximum have as much data as possible and lastly if you haven't done it let me actually show you something here a little bonus tip the bonus the tip of the bonus let me see uh, data sources then you'll see here we have a bunch of not in use uh, pixels go to demo pixel and as you can see i mean none of this is set up right but what you'll do is you'll go down and you will have the advanced matching turned on if it's not make sure to flip it on and go under you can see this show customer information parameters if you can unless you have some regulations in wherever you advertise because there are marketing rules ab about all of this but I mean, all of this is going to Facebook, so it shouldn't technically be your problem. Anyway, all of this, if you can turn it on, do it because it will help basically match the events better. So let's say that the server side only picks up two of these, but the browser picks up three of them. Okay, then it will enable it to better filter out and make sure that it says, okay, this is the same event. So instead of having two, we just have one. This is also how you solve a lot of the uh, duplicated events that many of you probably will see. But anyway... With that said, I hope this was useful. I hope it gave you some insight into set all of this up. Now, this is only for Shopify. Um, it's quite easy to do on most of the big platforms, Shopify, uh, PrestaShop, uh, WooCommerce, uh, WordPress WooCommerce. So um, yeah, with that said, I'm wishing you guys an amazing day. And if there is any problems with this, if you meet any issues, please write a comment below. I do read all of them. I want to make an effort into um, basically growing this YouTube channel a bit. So just write down if there is anything that you want me to look into, you have any specific questions or you have any issues with this, then I'm going to make sure that I try and do my best and solve them for you. All right, take care. Bye.